would be great. That would be very good. Good job, everybody. We can get them. I see. I see. All the way. You've all been working hard on that, haven't you? Okay. All right. Well, this morning, I want to share a book with you that won an award for its beautiful pictures. It's entitled Wonder Walkers, and this is a medal that it won. It's called the Caldecott Honor Medal because the pictures were so beautiful that it got this medal. And anyway, I, the name of the author is Misha Archer, and she wrote the words and the picture. So I'm going to share this with you, and then we're going to talk a little bit about it. So here is girl and boy, and I believe they're sister and brother, as you'll see later on. And she says, wonder walk? And he says, sure. What's a wonder walk? And look at, he's sitting on the front porch. She's out looking. There's, so they're starting their walk. She says, is the sun the world's light bulb? Hmm, that's something to think about. Is fog the river's blanket? See, they're on a bridge here, and look at the beautiful scene here. But here's some fog on the river. She says, is fog the river's blanket? Kind of covers the river, doesn't it? Kind of like a blanket covers us. Do mountains have bones? Are forests the mountain's fur? Does an animal have fur? Yeah. yeah. And it covers them, right? Well, maybe the forests are mountain fur. Something to think about. She says, I wonder. He says, me too. Now they're down in with the flowers, and there's probably lots of bugs down there, and they're watching the bugs. Are trees the sky's legs? Hmm. Look up at the sky and the trees. They almost look like they're holding up the sky. Something to think about. Are branches trees' arms? Now they're up in the tree, aren't they? Climbing the tree, which is always fun. Is dirt the world's skin? Let's look at our skin. It covers us, covers it and keeps all of our other stuff of, of our body inside, right? Well, and the dirt kind of covers the earth, right? Is dirt the world's skin or our roots, the plants, trees? Hmm. Do caves have mouths? Maybe. Are shells the shore's necklace? Look at all those beautiful shells. Is the ocean the world's bath? That'd be a pretty big bathtub, right? Are rivers the earth's veins? So look at, look at your wrist and see all your little veins in there? And they're carrying, they have your blood that's, got, that's going all through your body. And the rivers carry the water throughout the earth, so maybe a good comparison. Is the wind the world breathing? Ooh, see how they've got their eyes closed and just feeling that wind against their skin? Is rain the day's tears? Hmm. Well, when we, when we cry, actually when we cry, we feel better after we cry. And God actually made something in our tears. The science has proved that. That helps you make, feel better. And the water helps the earth feel better, doesn't it? Makes everything grow. Is the moon the world's nightlight? There it is. Now they're in their pajamas. And the book ends, I wonder, me too. So they're really thinking about the world around them. And I just wondered if any of you have ever gone on a wonder walk like this boy and girl. 
kind of just looking around a nature walk. Maybe some people call it a nature walk. But they were really, you haven't? Well, I think you might should, Julia. And, and we're going to find out more about that in a little bit. Maybe you might want to try it sometime. Because you know what? Were they really noticing all the beautiful parts of the world yes. and of nature? Yes. And several times, what did they say? What's it called? I wonder. I wonder. Well, there was a young man in the Bible, and he often wondered about God's creation when he was out watching his father's sheep. Does anybody know what his name was? David, you're right, Max. You are right. And later, after he was a shepherd boy, he became king of Israel, and he wrote many psalms in the Bible. Psalms is almost in the middle of the Bible. There's Psalms. And he wrote many of them. We're going to talk about a few in just a minute. And he, and he actually called some of the things that God created wonders. And so we're going to be looking a lot up at the big screen. So Psalm 65.8 says, and we want the congregation to help us so those of you that can read here, you can read it on the screen and the congregation is going to help us. So are you ready? Yeah. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. Where morning dawns, where evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. Right. Psalm 65, 8, right. So we know all these things that the boy and girl were wondering about were created by God. So we're going to go back and look at the book a little bit and the Bible verses that go along, that I've found that go along with them and see if we can wonder walk with God in mind. So turn to the next slide. So we talked about the, the sun and moon and the world's light bulb and the night light. And let's read it together. He made the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows when to go down. You bring darkness, it becomes night, and all the beasts of the forest prowl. And that, we, won't read, we won't read the reference all the time, but you can see that. So remember when they thought the sun was the world's light bulb? Well, God tells the sun when to go down. And when we shut off, we shut off our lights, right? And God tells the sun when to shut off. So that kind of goes right along with the book. Now let's see our next verse. Fog, the river's blanket. And it says, He set the earth on its foundations. It can never be moved. You covered it with the watery depths as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. So when you think about that, again, they thought the fog was the river's blanket, but the watery depth, which that... Re what is fog? Fog is really just water droplets, isn't it? It's a low-hanging cloud. So just like that with the river's blanket, God says that the fog is, is like a garment that covers us. It's just going right along with the Bible. It's beautiful. All right, the next one, remember the mountains? The mountains have bones. Let's read it together. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds, God our Savior, who formed the mountains by your power. So God's the one that made those mountains. And she thought that they had bones, but kind of if you think about your ankle bone, your knee bone, your elbow bone, they kind of are bumpy just like mountains. And then our next slide talks about the forests. The grasslands of the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed with gladness. So remember, she thought the forests, or he did, that the forests had, were like mountains fur. And yet, the Bible tells us the hills or the mountains are clothed just like that, just like fur. They're clothed with gladness. God's word I think maybe Misha read, read God's Word before she created this uh, book. Then let's go on to our next slide on the trees. 
The Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment. He stretches out the heavens like a tent. So, think about that. If the heavens are like a tent, if any of you have ever been camp camping, all right, Maxim, what holds up the tent? We have the camping. The poles, the posts, right? And, you, and what holds up the tent, Julia, just like what Max said? Do the poles hold it up? So in a way, it's just like the visual of these trees holding up the sky. The Bible says that, the, that God stretches out the heavens like a tent. Then we go to our dirt and our roots. He makes grass grow for the cattle and plants for the people to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth. And that was this, was this picture. And God has the dirt and the roots because we need food to eat, don't we? So that is what he did back. And then we go on to ocean. The Lord founded the earth by wisdom. By his knowledge, the ocean's depths were burst open. So we saw this picture of the ocean, and she talked about that it was the world's bath. Well, the Bible says that God burst that ocean open. It was a very large bath. And then on to our next one, the rivers, earth's veins. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain, for so you have ordained it. So just like we talked about, that the, that the, that the veins and, and all the arteries and veins in us carry, carry the blood, carry the nutrients, just like that, that's what the Bible says as well. They make our food to grow. On to the wind. He makes the clouds his chariots and rides on the wings of the wind. Well, they, they asked, is the, wind, is the wind the world breathing? When I read that, I thought, well, the wind is God breathing. But also the Bible gives us this other visual. Think about, a, think about when it's really windy out and you're looking up at the sky and the clouds are just going by so fast. Have you ever seen a day like that? Well, think about, in the Bible it says... The clouds are like God's chariot, and he's riding on them, on the wings of the wind. That's a neat way to think. Yeah. All right, we've just got two more slides. How about rain? He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hill. So absolutely, again, like we know we need that rain to make things grow. And just like tears, it helps us feel better because we have our food that we need to eat. And then our last slide. I wonder, and the earth is filled with awe at your wonders. So again, we go back to Psalm 65, 8, which was written, that Psalm 65 was written by David, and he is wondering. You know, last week, Pastor J.J. said he wanted us to think about things they give us awe, A-W-E, and that's what, that's what the Bible does, the Bible's telling us in Psalms, and that's what that book does. So I wanted to challenge you to go on a wonder walk this week, and I had, I did a little wonder walk and found just some little, kind of mush now, but some dandelions and some sweet william and some violets growing in my yard. Then I found the neatest rock. What is that the shape of? A heart. A heart. Or maybe so, a chicken. If you're right. You know, it could be a chicken too, which also God created. I thought heart first, but yeah, I kind of like that chicken idea too. Okay, so just to think about So I have a little a bag for each of you. And you can go, I want you to try this month to go on a wonder walk and see what you can gather in your bag. So we've got some girly ones for the girls. So we're going to pass those girls ones out first. 